Right, so we're on the beach and it's starting to empty out. But you might be thinking, why would anybody bail on such a nice day? That's why. How much time do you think we have before we gotta move? I think we're gonna get an hour and a half in easy. What's going on? What's this convention? <laughs> the lifeguard convention? One, two, three, four, five. Hello there. What do you want to say to the fans? Uh, listen, you don't know what you're missing. Everybody <laughs> flew the coop, and it looks like it's going to be a nice, pretty nice day. That's the boss of the camera right there. <laughs> For like, He's the uh, director, the producer, <laughs> panoramic view. You know these guards? They sit on those benches all year round, and then they have to have an operation at the end of the season with all the splinters in their ass. <laughs> they never get up. It's been a pretty decent mid-morning afternoon I guess uh, we were here for about maybe an hour tops but uh, we're leaving because of that see you in a little bit my name is Anthony and I'll be drawing for you hey planet earth we meet again welcome to Anthony draws for you the channel where no idea is too crazy kind of gross out today but it's all good because today I'm going to the comic store to get some Batman comics all right now I got a really busy morning ahead of me so I really only have a couple of minutes to get in and out so hopefully they're open by the time I get there and we're too early all right just looks like we're gonna have to come back later what's up guys all right, so that was a bust. So I'm heading to the beach again with my Uncle Matty. If you haven't seen it already, go check out the first video I posted with him at the beach. So I'm gonna do a little bit of Batman drawing because I got an itch that I got to scratch and I'll try to make it a quick one so I can leave the house on time. So here we go. Now it's been a while since I've done anything for Batman. I did have that Joker commission last week, but it's been a while since I've done anything for Batman specifically. One of the mainstays in drawing Batman that is really common is to draw a pose with him in silhouette. Now, I really didn't have any plans when I started this, but I did sort of put a roadblock in front of myself. I didn't draw a very dynamic pose. I just drew him standing there looking scary. And I had to think of something interesting to make up for the fact that he's not really doing anything. So I decided to break the silhouette up and have like the bats flying out of him. Originally, what I wanted to do was make it look like they're like the bats are hanging upside down like onto the walls of a cave like the line break that separates him from the bats part of me is a little bit disappointed that i think they're not quite as clear as i wanted them to be and they sort of just look like jagged lines but at the same time that still works now when i started drawing the flying bats i quickly realized that it wouldn't cut it to just do the same flying pose over and over the same like couple over and over and i've never really had any reason to draw bats before so I just did a Google image search and I typed in bat flying and I just kept hitting the right arrow button and whatever new figure was displayed, I just drew that also in silhouette. I did get a little bit freaky with the moon behind him and uh, yeah, that's actually, that is what it's supposed to be, the moon. I got a little carried away with the details of the craters and I think the end result made it look really not like a moon. I don't know, like a hunk of cheese or something else. So yeah, I, uh, I ended up toning it down a little bit for the end result. There's definitely a reason why Batman has been cool for the past, what, like 80 years? I can't remember Batman ever being not cool. I mean, even the campy, goofy, like, 60s TV Adam West. I mean, yeah, it was a silly show, but people watched it. It was on for a while, and you gotta compare it to the time that it was in. It was a very goofy time period, with a lot of very clean content in TV and movies. I would love to see Christopher Nolan's Batman be represented through the 60s version of the TV show. <laughs> like that part in The Dark Knight when Batman is interrogating Maroney and he's holding him over the ledge. It's like, hey, from one professional to another, if, I, if you drop me from this fall, it wouldn't kill me. I'm counted on it. And he drops him. But when he hits the ground, instead of hearing bones crunching, you hear trumpets flaring and across the screen is a big pow. This is YouTube. Something like that has to exist out there. Yeah, tell me in the comments section if you could find something. Yeah, point me in that direction because I really, I would really love to see something like that.
Alright, so now I got the Batman out of my system, and now it's time to go to the beach and visit my uncle. 83 years old, we're biking on the oh boardwalk. God, look at this camera. <laughs> oh look at him go, king of the wheels. Red champ? Alright, let's go. <laughs> Look at him go. Player three has entered the race. Eighty-three years old, he's always in front of me. Hey planet Earth, we meet again. Welcome to Anthony Draws View, the channel where no idea is too crazy. Now show the camera. It used to be all muscle, you know what it is now? Look at those gorgeous gams. Yeah, those are the kind of legs you put on the side of a uh, World War II bomber plane. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle made the World War II pinup. We gotta do a lot of bike ride. Get that back in shape, baby. What a wicked sky. Would you rather be covered in fur or covered in scales? Oh, fur. Why fur? Because I'll never get a chance to buy a mink coat. <laughs> Would you rather have one legitimate get out of jail free card or a key that opens any door? I know the trouble that you get into, so you might want to take that jail I'll free take card. The key to open any door, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather know the history of every object you touch or be able to talk to animals? Be able to talk to animals. That would be fun. Oh, for God's sake, now we're getting hit with rain again. Would you rather be married to a 10 with a bad personality or with a 6 with an amazing personality? A 10 with a bad personality is aggravating. Though. The aggravation would take over the beauty of the person. I'd rather have the personality person where she gets along with everybody and it, it pleases you, you know? Looks can only get my attention. If you want to keep my attention, then you've got to you right. gotta be a good person. I'm gonna have way more fun with a person who has fun. You know, an attractive person who's just attractive. I'll look. <laughs> That's all I want to do with that is look. You got three choices. Would you rather be able to do stay true? I'm talking here. <laughs> it's good. I'm not changing that. I'm keeping that in there. Would you rather be able to talk to land animals, animals that can fly, or animals that live under the water? Fly, baby, fly. Yeah, but then if you can fly and you can talk, you can talk your way out of the water. Well. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Would you rather have all traffic lights that you approach are green for the rest of your life, or never have to stand in line again? First yeah. in line or first on the road? Take the green light, man. You can do a lot of travel. There was a big line to go to the buffet in Atlantic City. And I told Ro, Ro, pull over there, pretend you're lost, you're looking for me, jump online. <laughs> and then I'll meet you. She goes, I ain't gonna do that. I says, all right, I'll go online. She says, I will come meet you. No, she's, because she's too much of a, a sweetheart. She likes to do things by the book. She's a good girl. Oh, she doesn't, yeah. She oh, doesn't oh. like to, she's not a rule breaker like you. Everything by the book. I mean, old people. I don't sit around, they bullshit all day, you know. <laughs> Rule number Rule one. Rule number one, Moism. You Kids get, get bored quick, you gotta bring you stuff. You gotta get them to enjoy the water. Because water once they place. enjoy the water, they'll stay in there all day. But yeah. if you get a kid that just stays on the beach all day long, oh, yeah. and plays in the sand, that's good for about an hour. The rest of the time he's bored as hell. 
How do you keep kids on the beach entertained? How do you build those boats? I don't want to tell you. You can build a boat in five minutes. You can build a boat in five minutes, right now? Yeah. I'll show you. Where do you want me to build? People I'm going to give you instruction on how to build a boat in the sand. This is going to keep all your kids entertained for the rest of the afternoon. And this has been going on for how many generations? Oh, generations? Before mine. All right. All right, okay. so explain to the people what we're going to do. Now, all you do is simply, this is going to be the seat. Seats right there. So all you do is take this out. This, this ain't the seat. This is the where you put your feet. The sand that comes out of your feet goes in onto the bow. And then you take the sand around the boat. This becomes an automatic seat. Oh, look at that. This is only a small version. So this is, this is the prototype. This is not the scale. Now, smooth that baby out. Put a little windshield. <laughs> yeah, you're putting the windshield in. <laughs> if you had enough time, I know you'd be getting the radio in there and everything. Then the kids would get shells, put a little steering wheel in there, put a little flag in the front, and then in the, in the back, you just put a pile of sand and make a motor. A little out drive. And then if you want, you make a little wave. Waves. That's the idea. This is, this is the starter kit. The little kids are coming in, they're jumping in, and they're yeah. sitting there like they're sitting in a bowl yeah. and play. Alright, so we got the shift. We got a giant shift. That's the, <laughs> the size of the whole first passenger. We got the antenna. We'll take this muscle. There's the radio dial. 50 years from now, they carry on the tradition of say Uncle Matty. was the one that originated the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and that, fans, is how you make a boat in the sand. And we're here in the rain again. Now we're going back. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> simple. Simple construction. All right. What do you say? You think we should get moving soon? Yeah, I think we better get going again. All right. Yeah. Chasing us again. 